A mechanical integrity program involves several components. Employers have to establish and implement written procedures to maintain the ongoing integrity of process equipment. Each employee involved in maintaining the process equipment must be trained in an overview of that process equipment, its hazards, and in the procedures applicable to the employee's job tasks. Written procedures are required for each piece of process equipment for each of the components of the Mechanical Integrity Program. Written procedures are required for operating procedures addressing maintenance preparation, equipment inspections and tests, equipment repair and replacement and installation, and quality assurance protocols. A large part of the Mechanical Integrity Program is developing thorough equipment inspection and testing protocols. The frequency of inspections and tests and the methods to perform the inspections and tests on the process equipment have to conform with the manufacturer's specifications and generally accepted engineering practices. Let me make one note though. If your operating experience suggests that more frequent inspections and tests are needed, then the mechanical integrity program for that equipment has to reflect your own operating experiences. The defined inspection and testing program for each piece of equipment also requires actual written results of scheduled and even unscheduled inspections and tests. A valid documentation process involves identifying the date of the inspection or test, the name of the person who performed the inspection or test, the serial number or other unique process equipment identification on which the inspection or test was performed, a complete description of the inspection or test performed, and a thorough description of the results of the inspection or test. If the inspection or test shows one or more equipment deficiencies, such as equipment performance criteria falling outside the acceptable design limits, the employer must correct the problems before the equipment can be placed back in full service. This is the basic output of a mechanical integrity program, well-maintained process equipment for which failures are predicted and addressed before they can adversely affect the covered process. I also want to emphasize the need for good quality assurance. Quality assurance in the mechanical integrity program has to be planned in advance whether associated with the equipment itself or the tests and inspections conducted on them, the quality assurance protocols are put in place to ensure the right equipment is used, the right parts and maintenance materials are used in the equipment, and that the manufacturer's specifications and instructions are built into the testing, inspection, and maintenance procedures. The quality assurance protocols validate that the process equipment is suitable for the process application for which it will be used, that the appropriate checks, tests, and inspections are performed to verify that the process equipment is installed properly and consistent with design specifications and the manufacturer's instructions, and that maintenance materials, spare parts, and equipment are suitable for the process application for which they will be used. Thank you.